Senator Marco Rubio continued his attacks on Donald Trump this morning. He called Trump a con artist on the Today Show and other morning shows. I'm joined now by CNN political commentator and host of the Ben Ferguson Show, Ben Ferguson, along with the executive director of the Independent Women's Forum, Sabrina Schaefer. Welcome to both of you. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Good morning. So, so Ben, um, this morning Marco Rubio's message seemed honed. I mean, he got it, he got it down to I don't know. He was very succinct about it. Now he's calling Donald Trump a con artist and leaving it at that. Yeah, most like, it's is that effective. Fi finally, they're figuring out how to deal with Donald Trump. Is is the way I look at it. Is it's like, hey, it, the one liner is okay. You need to define him as a candidate the way that Donald Trump has defined everyone else as a candidate. And I think that's what you saw him last night on stage, and it worked really well for not only Marco Rubio. And I think it's going to give him a boost in Florida, but it also helped Ted Cruz as well because they finally started fighting fire with fire, and they also started saying, hey, you come after us and you call us liars consistently. Well, let's look at your record. And they also scored big points on his tax return. So it was a very interesting night, not what most people were used to seeing during a debate. And Sabrina, at times Trump appeared flustered, at times he was visibly angry, you could see his face redden. He's tweeting this morning up a storm, and he's tweeting so fast that there are often misspellings in his tweets, but this is the latest one that we read. Quote, lying Ted Cruz and lightweight choker Marco Rubio teamed up last night in a last-ditch effort to stop our great movement. They failed. But let's face it, Sabrina, Donald Trump leads in, and he leads everywhere. He's going to win Super Tuesday, right? Unless yeah. this really did work. <laughs> Look, I mean, I think it was about time that somebody tried to, to take down Trump, but I do fear that it was too little too late. The reality is that when you look at some of the online polls that came out after last night, you know, Time found that 71% of viewers still thought that Trump came out ahead to only about 18% who thought that Rubio won last night. I think what people are forgetting, and this is really hard for us here in Washington and New York to really accept, is that whether or not you like Trump doesn't matter. The reality is there are a lot of people out there who don't like Washington. They don't like politics as usual. They don't like anything that sort of reeks of the Republican establishment. So it doesn't really matter if he came out with some great punches, and he did, no doubt. Um, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to get a lot of those Trump voters to, to jump ship. Well, well, here's the thing, though, I, I Ben. The main Mark, thing Marco, here Marco Rubio's team is also reassuring donors. They're even developing a plan for a brokered convention. Does that mean even if Rubio loses on Super Tuesday, he's going to make sure he wins? Well, look, I think he's putting out there different scenarios so that he keeps his donor base, uh, you know, not looking at he must either drop out or continue with victories on Super Tuesday. And I think that's limiting expectations to say we can make this into a longer contest. I think that's part of the reason why these attacks that you saw last night were so effective. It may not turn everything around for Rubio or Cruz, but if Ted Cruz can win Texas, if Rubio can have some solid showings, they can both continue on. And then you deal with John Kasich and Ben Carson. Do they stay in? Are they even viable candidates? But last night, I think there was two things that happened for the first time. One, there was true doubt put on Donald Trump's record, specifically with what is he hiding in his tax returns. That is going to be a message you're going to hear not just from one of these campaigns, I think, but from all of them about, hey, you came after Ted Cruz on his loan that it wasn't on the one form but was on another. Well, we don't know what's in your tax returns. And this excuse that, well, they're complex. They've already no, been he's done. Being They're audited. already finished. That was I'm the sure excuse. they were. He's being yeah, audited. Right, yeah. And, and, and saying that you've been audited does not help you in this. And I think that was one big thing. The other one was the, the illegal immigration issue last night. And I think that Donald Trump walked into a trap when he said, well, I have a big company. I have a lot of people under me. I'm a multi billionaire. Well, if you cannot handle the affairs of your own business, then why do I think you can handle the affairs for the entire United States of America when it comes to immigration reform and national security? You're saying your business was too big to handle and there was too many subcontractors. Well, the U.S. government's a lot bigger than Donald Trump's business. I know he says it's huge, but the U.S. government is a lot bigger than that. So I fair. think that's somewhere else he's got a problem. Sabrina? Yeah, well, I mean, these are all, and Rubio made a, a tremendous you know, sort of gains last night in the sense that he made a very fair points. And if I were, you know, Trump's campaign, I would be thinking if it's not Rubio, it's going to be Hillary who's going to be making these same claims. He ought to be prepared. And, and every single thing that Rubio um, threw at him last night was, was fair game, and there were some really good points in there. The, the problem, I think, is that Trump represents something different. He doesn't just represent one voter out there. There's Democrats, there's independents, there's Republicans who support him. And I'm not sure that they're 
they're going to care enough about some of these issues. What they want is something different, even if for those of us here on this show today, we think he may seem like a fraud. That's not the case to a lot of Americans out there. And I think that's hard for us to wrap our minds around. All right, I have to leave it there, I Ben think, Ferguson. I, think there's one I have thing. to leave it there, Ben. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> ben Ferguson, Sabrina no Schaefer, problem. thanks so much for being with me this morning. Still to come in the newsroom, Trump takes fire from Rubio and Cruz, but Trump's just shrugging it off. Up next, CNN one-on-one -on -one with Donald Trump.